a very warm welcome to another video today we are going to learn how to design a simple flyer in adobe illustrator like this and we are going to learn some shortcuts as well so stick around till the very end this is video 2 in this series of getting started with adobe illustrator so if you have not watched video 1 then kindly click on the video on the card above and watch that video before you watch this very one. If you enjoy watching, kindly leave a like because when you do that, you will help this video get discovered by more people who are interested in learning Adobe Illustrator and share this video with a friend as well. So let's get started. Links to these resources will be on the description below so you can download and follow along. So once you open up Adobe Illustrator, this is what you see and the next thing you want to do is to click on create new and once your dialog box opens up next thing you want to do is to set the preset of how you want your artwork to look like so you click on print since we are actually designing for print but then i'm not going to use the print presets because the print comes with cmyk color and i love using the web because it comes with rgb and this is for print but it's kind of a digital print so i'm going to click on web i just want to show you this method so you know you can still break the rules if you know them okay let's move on so you click on web and once you do that you click on your rgb color mode to be sure it's actually rgb color and your raster effect should be 300 ppi so it comes with a high quality and you don't mind using all this stuff the width and the height let's just leave it at default we're going to change this later and you can rename your presets to whatever you want to name it to from this tutorial i'm going to name it flyer design and that's it and next thing you want to do is to click on create so your ads board opens up just like this and the next thing you want to do is to set the size of your ad board so you press either shift o or you click on edit ad board to edit your ad board and once you do that you are able to edit your ad board to any custom size you want and since we did not set the size from the start, we are going to set it here. So I will click on select preset and you set the size you want to use. And here you see A4. And you can't find A5 here and that's because it's not on the preset. So all you have to do is to divide the A4 into two parts just like what I'm going to do. So you hold on this side and drag it to the center. And you know, half of A4 is a5 so this is when you have a5 size for your flyer and next thing you want to do is to click on exit to exit editing mode okay so this is our workspace now and next thing you want to do is to set the background for this flyer so you click on your rectangle tool or you press m for the shortcut and click on this intersect and drag so you have a complete a5 shape just like so and you also want to fill this shape with a gradient fill so you click on the gradient to just here or you click on g on your keyboard to activate the gradient tool. so I'll click on the gradient tool, and you see your gradient here where you have to set your gradient you can click on the gradient and it opens up like this so if you can't find your gradient on this panel you come to windows and you come down to gradient then you activate it once you do that your gradient will appear on this other panel and that's it and next thing you want to do is to click on this gradient to activate the gradient on your shape just like so and you double click here to open up this colors panel so you can set the particular color you want to use for your gradient and for me i'm going to click on swatches and when i click on swatches i have this drop down so I'll click on a color that looks like orange just like so and i think this will be good to go and i can still adjust these colors at any time if it does not match what i actually want or uh, you click on the other angle of the gradient slider that's the white angle and you double click and you get this color swatches again so you click on yellow and this is it and then i want this orange to be kind of shiny so i'm going to do this so you know you can still do it this way so i can double click on this angle here this point here where we have the 
orange slider and you click on your color and when you click on color you can adjust your colors just like this i'll adjust it this way and make the orange kind of shiny than the way it was before so this looks perfect so you see i have my red 255 and green 133 and blue is yellow and that looks very cool so next thing we want to do is to set our gradient to radial so you click on your gradient once again and you set it just here how you want it to look like you see the gradient has the radial gradient so you click on radial gradient to get this radial view just here and you can hold on this point and drag it to any direction you want the gradient to actually uh to you want the gradient to feel like just here so you hold on the gradient slider and drop it just here i think i'm okay with this position and very cool and nice but then i want the yellow to be more dominant than that of the orange so i'm going to hold on this slider and drag it down just like this uh not too much and hold on this other slider and take it just like this and this looks cool and nice so you can close your gradient dialog from here and next up i'm going to bring in the brush which i have for this design i'm going to use so i downloaded some brushes i'm going to use i'm going to pick this and drag it down to adobe illustrator just like this and it opens up and then this brush is linked so when you bring in an image or a jpeg file that is a kind of a picture just like this it comes like a linked file so it has this x on it so with this i'm going to click on my selection tool and once you do that you see these options on this particular panel that's the properties panel and then i'm going to click on embed because i don't like working with linked images and there is time for it and there is time to work with linked images or unlinked images but i like to embed all my images now when you work with linked images each time you save the job or you mistakenly delete the resource from its original folder when you come into adobe illustrator you won't have that image there again so you embed the images so you won't lose it in adobe illustrator let me show you a practical example of what i'm talking about assuming this is a linked images just like this when you see this x it's actually linked okay and when i come to this folder and i had to cut it out of this folder now this particular stuff is not on this folder anymore let me take it out and create a new folder and fix it here so when you go to adobe illustrator it's saying some files are missing or modified in the links panel would you like to update them now so if you click on yes you have to tell adobe illustrator the new folder which this particular uh, resource is found okay or you click on no if you click on no then automatically this particular resource can't be used again so what you have to do is to bring in the new resource where it is okay and now it's found so this is how illustrator works you have to embed but if you embed this image even if you change it if you change it uh, folder it has no effect just like what i'm doing now changing the folder to its original and you go back to adobe illustrator it's safe okay it's safe it does not affect so let's see how it goes i'm going to bring in this stuff into adobe illustrator again and embed it okay so i'm going to click on embed so once i do that it's embedded in adobe illustrator and it can't be changed again but even at that i when i trace this image it can't be lost again okay so i'm going to click on tracing presets and click on black and white logo okay because i want this to actually become kind of this nature and this looks cool and nice so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on expand and once i do that i'm about to take off the white because it's actually group so you right click and click on on group and then you click on the black and bring it out and that's cool so i'm going to select this whole stuff and delete fine then you place the black shape just here so i've been able to convert this stuff 
to a shape it's no more an image it's a shape so i'm going to place it just right here and i think that's cool and fine then you see we have some other shades here of orange and i don't want that to be here so i'm going to use my pen tool you click on your pen tool or you press p on your keyboard to activate the pen tool and create a shape just like this to cover up this stuff okay that's cool and nice and why it has this black color it's because the fuel here is actually black and that's why it has this black color here that's fine so next thing i'm going to weld these two shapes together so it's not going to be two different shapes so you click on the first shape and press shift and click on the brush so you have them selected you click on weld so if you don't have this pathfinder you go to your windows and you activate your pathfinder here or you use shift control f9 to activate your pathfinder so when you, when you click on pathfinder the pathfinder dialog box appears just here so you click on unite okay and when you click on unite it welds itself all together just like this and that's cool and next thing you want to do is to give this shape a white color so i'm going to click on my color and when you do that you click on white and you can close that and that is fine so next up i'm going to bring in some other resources i have for this flyer i'm going to bring in this image and bring it just into adobe illustrator like so and i'm going to place it just right here and you can reduce the size hold shift while doing this so you maintain a right proportion of this image and the image won't be distorted so you hold shift while doing this okay and that's fine so i'm going to send this image to the back before masking it with this shape and masking it i mean power clipping it or placing it inside this shape you are seeing here okay so you right click on the image and click on arrange and send backwards and the shortcut for that is control left square bracket so you click and it goes back once the next thing you want to do is to hold shift click on your shape and right click and you click on make clipping marks and this pops up saying the top object is very complex and may cause the document to fail to print and with this you click on yes and it's fine and once it does this it's actually because the top object that the shape was grouped so i will press ctrl z to return back to its previous state so you click on the shape again right click and click on on group and once you do that you have freed the shape from other resources or other little shapes we have not seen okay so you select the shape again hold shift and select the image but then i observe that the image is linked so i'm going to click on the image and once you do that you look at the properties bar and click on embed and you have embedded the image with adobe illustrator okay so you hold shift and click on the sh shape again so you select both of them and right click and click on make clipping marks and this still pops up but this time you click on yes so once you do that you see this image is maxed inside the shape and next thing you want to do is to edit the image just right inside the shape so you click on the shape again and it highlights just like this right click and click on isolate selected clipping marks and once you do that you are able to open up the marks just like this you click on the image again and you click on transparency just like this and then you reduce the transparency of the image but then the transparency is affecting both the image and the grouped shape so i'm going to open up this again you return back to normal and right click on the image and click on isolate selected image and now we are inside the image so let's study this layer stuff and see how it looks like so this is the first layer and this is the isolated group and now we have isolated and we are now editing just the image itself okay fine so now you click on your transparency if you don't have the transparency you come to windows and you drop down to where you have your transparency just here and when you click on that you activate the transparency just here and then you hold on your opacity slider and bring it down way down to bring it way down to 14 i think that's just fine so at this point we can go back to our first layer by clicking on the first layer here and we are now at the top 
layer so you click on the shape again and this time you can give it a white color and make sure that when giving this white color that your fill is at the top okay you can see this is the outline and this is the fill so the fill should be at the top for you to be able to give it this white color and that looks cool and nice and real quick this tutorial may seem a little bit complicating but you have to follow it step by step and once you do that you get used to it and that's how it goes okay that's cool and nice and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this shawarma image just right here and that's cool you hold shift and reduce the image just like so hold shift again reduce it again and place it just here that's cool and nice then you click on embed to embed this image here and next thing you want to do is to give it a shadow just as the preview we saw on the screen so to give this a shadow you click on effect click on stylize and click on drop shadow and once you do that the shadow appears just like this and next thing you want to do is to set your shadow how you want it to look like either you want to make it blurry you increase the pixel to make it blurry and i'm going to reduce the opacity to 40 percent okay and that's cool and then you can leave the offset and the y offset the x offset and the y offset at seven and the blur seven and that's cool you click on okay and this appears very cool and very nice but then i want to make the shadow to go up a little than just here so you click on appearance panel to edit your shadow you click on appearance and if you don't have the appearance here you come to windows and you see appearance just in this panel you can drop go up and this is appearance here so you click on appearance and it appears here okay fine then you double click on your shadows to open up the shadows dialog box so you can edit your shadows so i'm going to hold on the x axis and reduce it just like this so it goes up and now we have zero and that looks perfect so you have you now have your opacity 40 percent and your x offset seven and your y offset zero while your blur seven and that's cool and your color black okay so now have our shadow place properly so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this background just here into adobe illustrator and i'm going to place it just right here you can adjust it this way that looks cool place it just here and you click on embed pretty much i like embedding every image in adobe illustrator just like this one so you right click and click on arrange and send backward just once and you can place it down right click again click on arrange and send backwards so it's now at the back so you can place it just right here and hold alt on your keyboard and drag to this other angle so you duplicate it just like this and you click selecting one of them you click on your transparency once again click on your blending mode and you click on screen so this is what you get and you click on this as well click on your blending mode and you click on screen and this is what you get and next one you want to do is to bring in this so you bring in this other light as well and place it just at the center here like this and embed here and then you right click and click on arrange send backwards and that's cool you click on your blending mode again and give it screen and this looks perfect and nice so all i wanted to achieve is this lighting this lens flares around the design and that's perfect and nice and next thing i want to do is to type in this text just like so you click on your text tool and once your text tool is activated you're going to click and the placeholder text opens up like this then you type this make this sure shawarma that's cool so you can select on Megis and press ctrl x to cut and you can close this up just like this and you click here again and paste that so you have Megis and shawarma separate 
that's cool so you select megis and change its typeface to mustardo i'm going to leave a link to all this typeface just below so you can get it and use it for your own design and place it just here click on shawarma and change the typeface to morganite okay fine so i'm going to use morganite black and adjust the size just like this and you can place it just here this looks cool and very nice fine so to change the feel of megis you click on megis and click on swatches and once you do that you can give it um a green color this rgb green which we can adjust its color later you give it this uh rgb green here and you can adjust the color later by simply clicking on color you can adjust its color so you bring the slider of black just down here to get this sharp rgb green so you leave your red at yellow green at 90 and blue at three okay and that's cool there you go you click on shawarma as well and click on swatches and give it this brown color just here and that's cool and we can still adjust its color again so you click on color and adjust it this way so you have the sharp color just like that and it's cool so we have megis shawarma but i think i can still change this typeface because it's looking a kind of heavy so you click just up here you click on font style and you click on bold okay fine so you can adjust the size once again and that's okay so you select megis and hold shift and select shawarma and press ctrl g and then you can click on your align to centralize click on horizontal align to center to centralize and if you don't have this alignment here you can click on your windows and activate alignment just like so align so once you do that you have this stuff here and that's cool and next thing we want to do is to bring in every other stuff we have for this design so i'm going to open up my microsoft and copy out this fine i have this stuff here so i'll simply copy it and bring it to adobe illustrator you click on your type tool and create a kind of placeholder text like this and you change the typeface to futura pretty much i like working with futura a lot so i'm going to use futura medium and that's cool and i'm going to set my font size to 10 and that's fine then you can paste what you copied in adobe illustrator just like this and that looks very cool and very nice but then i'm going to adjust this stuff so you close this up here and once you see a red uh red color on this plus icon you know that there are some text missing so you hold down here and bring it down to review the missing text so then i'm going to separate this text box into two dimensions so you click on the text tool here and click here to open up another text box so then you hold this and drag it up and then you see it shares itself to this other side but then i'm going to close this up so i maintain a lot of space so you close this up just once and close it up once once like so and that's fine so i'm going i'm going to arrange this just very fast because i believe you know how to do this already so there you go next thing you want to do is to hold this and this select both of them press ctrl g to group and then centralize remember we activated align so you click on horizontally align center and that is it and next thing you want to do is to adjust the line spacing you know it's too compacted so i'm going to ungroup this right click and ungroup click on it right click and ungroup and then we're going to adjust the line spacing because it's too way too much compacted here so you click on the first text box and you click here and just adjust your sliders to um 14 that's cool 14 looks cool and nice so you can adjust it this way and that's fine so it's properly arranged and next thing i want to do is to create a shape just like this 
click and drag to create this box here and hold on this angle to create this curve just like so and that's cool and then you click on i press i on your keyboard to activate your eyedrop tool or you click on the eyedrop tool just here and you click on megis and reason why i had to click there is to copy the same field the green field just here so i'm going to press ctrl left square bracket to send it to the back like so and one cool thing about adobe illustrator is that once an object goes to the back if you are duplicating the object it remains on that same layer so i'm going to hold alt and hold here and reduce the shape just like this so it remains on this proportion and next thing you want to do is to hold alt and shift to duplicate this and duplicate it for all the boxes just like so so i'm going to do this very fast okay so that's cool and very nice and that is very cool but then i observe this is not balanced at all so i'm going to take this upwards a little i'm going to close this up so it opens up just here so this looks very cool and nice and next thing i want to do is to change these colors to white so we can have a very cool stuff here and the contrast will be very perfect so you change all these prizes to white just like so so this is very cool and very nice and next up i'm going to bring in this shape here you click on your rectangle tool and create a shape just like this and you hold here and reduce it this way and that's cool i'm going to give this the brown color we had just there but before then you click on align and you click on horizontally align to center just like this so it remains centralized and perfect so you click on your eyedrop tool and click on shawarma to copy the same feel we have there on the shawarma so at this point we can bring in the contact details i'm going to bring in a kind of fake contact details just here you change the typeface to futura just the same future we have used before here cool then you can make it just like this um so that's cool you can adjust the size like this hold shift and reduce this and place it just right here and that's cool and you can even give this number an icon but for the sake of time i don't want to make a long and boring video so i'm going to leave it just here and next thing and the last thing i'm going to do is to bring in some leaves which i made here i'm going to bring them into adobe illustrator just like this and it opens up it becomes very large so i'm going to click on embed and doing that i'm going to select both of them and reduce it just like so so you select all and bring it here hold shift while doing this so you maintain a right proportion and you can adjust this this way i'm going to rasterize all this stuff so it won't look so heavy on my pc so you click on object you click on rasterize and you click on transparent okay make sure the resolution is 300 ppi and okay so it's rasterized do the same here again click on this object rasterize transparency okay that's fine so i'm going to place this on different angles just like this i'll place one on this angle hold shift while doing this so you won't distort the image then you hold alt to duplicate just like this that looks cool place this here and do the same again here duplicate remember you hold alt to duplicate and place it just here hold alt again to duplicate and rotate it this way reduce this place it here and that looks cool then you can do this bring this just right here that looks cool and hold this reduce this and place it just here and you can rotate it this way that looks cool and i'm going to duplicate this as well hold alt to duplicate and rotate it this way 
very cool and nice um i can place it like this very nice hold this hold alt and duplicate rotate it this way and that's fine So this looks very perfect and next thing i want to do is to click on one of these leaves and apply a blur effect so you click on effect click on blur and gaussian blur so you see it's blurry so i'm going to reduce the blur effect to this point it looks perfect here at seven pixels so i'll just input seven pixels here and click on ok so i'm going to copy the same blur effect to all this stuff here so i'm going to open up my layers panel remember all what we have done we have done them on all one layer okay so i'm going to click on other stuff i want to copy the effect on this particular um leaf to every other leaf so this is the leaf here which is with has this blue it has this blue so this is the blur effect and you see this black spot here where you see click target drag to move appearance so i want to copy this blur to every other layers here so you hold alt and click and drag to copy the appearance to every other stuff here i'm just going to do that and hold alt copy and drag hold alt click and drag and then you do the same here hold alt click and drag 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 and then it applies to all the leaves the blur effect applies to all the leaves as you have seen just here so you can close your layer so this is the layers of all this stuff we have done here now all this stuff we did was all on one layer just like this and i did not separate it to two different layers and since we are just starting i had to design all this stuff in one layer to show you that you can still achieve this in one layer and that looks cool and nice so at this point we are done designing this so i'm going to select all this stuff and press ctrl g to group and that looks cool and nice and next thing you want to do to take off all these extra parts of this design you click on your rectangle tool and create this shape on the artboard just like this you create this shape on the artboard just like this as it's going to be exact the size of the artboard and once you do that you select all and right click and click on make clipping marks and once you do that your flyer is now ready and this is it so with this you are done designing your first and your very first design with adobe illustrator so pretty much this is how to design a very simple flyer with adobe illustrator the process might be long but the main reason for this tutorial is to help you get started as we have more tutorials to do with adobe illustrator and as time goes on you get better at designing with adobe illustrator if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend and if you have not subscribed yet kindly subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified when we upload a new video just like this one thanks so much for watching if any of the video on your screen interests you, click on any and watch them and I will see you in the next video.